Hey, it's been raining all day, been stuck in the house, been, so I figured it was a great day to start teaching about Kaizen and the different ways of change. So really there's two different ways of changing. There's, there's the innovative way, and it's not quite that hot in there. There's the innovative way, and then there's the Kaizen way. So the innovative way is like the shock factor, right? So let's imagine going to the gym and you jump in there, you haven't been in the gym in six weeks, six years, whatever it is, some, some extended amount of time. You go in there, you start maxing out on everything, right? You go run three miles, right? You go uh, max, max, uh, max your legs on the leg press, you on your bench press, you, you bench press, every last little thing you do is you you do as many pull-ups as you can you know curls for the girls you, you, you're out there trying to prove to the world that you're strong right but what happens on an innovative thing right is it's very expensive for you to do that right because then the next day the next three days the next month or however long on it depends on how old you are right and and how long it was since you were working last working out you're gonna feel it right you're gonna pay for that innovative way of changing right or trying to stop smoking cigarettes like okay i'm gonna stop today right i'm never gonna buy a cigarette never gonna smoke another one today right some people have the willpower to be able to do that but most of us don't right let's just be honest with yourself most of us don't or I'm gonna break up with this girlfriend or or boyfriend, you know, whatever it is that in your life, then I hope you understand like the innovative change, you know, so a drastic change that, you know, most of the time doesn't work and it's very expensive to do, right? The after effects of it, because it, if, it, if it works, right, then it's amazing. Great, you were able to change extremely fast and effective. But when it doesn't work, it causes you to almost give up, right? So going to the gym and trying the innovative way and it doesn't work and you're sore, then you're like, you know, screw this. I don't, I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm good with being a cow's potato, right? I'll get, I'll just get used to, I just buy bigger clothes, right? But what the Kaizen way is, is like the complete opposite of that. What it is, is is it teaches us to take small steps, right? Almost, almost like so small that you don't even notice it, right? And you'll hear me talk about this like in, in more videos to come of the picking up a pencil every day, right? 10 times with each hand to start working out or maybe even marching in place for five minutes during the commercials of your favorite TV show. Or if it is, if it stops smoking cigarettes, uh, buy a, buy the Rolly pack first, right, and then slowly buy buy or buy a, a, a t some tobacco that you think is just absolutely disgusting and some roll some rolling papers. So every time that you want to smoke a cigarette, you start smoking those. So, so you train your brain to stop going into the store and buying a pack of cigarettes, right? It sounds crazy, but little by little, you're retraining your brain to like go look at the cigarettes and not even think of it about a cigarette, all right? And you're gonna put yourself in a situation when you do smoke a cigarette, is you're not gonna be used to the flavor because you're used to something like that you don't really want, right? But then slowly but surely, take your weed yourself down, right? I'm not saying just replace it, right? I'm saying like weed it down. If you're smoking 20 cigarettes a day of regular cigarettes, then try to roll up, you know, 20 little itty bitty cigarettes, right? So break down 20 cigarettes and, and make 40 out of them, right? Of the real rollies. So you're still getting your nicotine fixed, but you're smoking half as much, right? That's what the kids, the, the Kaizen way. Or like I said, going to the gym, just marching in place for a little bit getting yourself used to the moving, building a habit, 
in anything that it is, is, is the kindness, the slow approach, the slow, the, I mean, the Kaizen way of doing it, right? It's kind of like in the name. But yeah, if you want to learn how to mountain bike or you want to climb Mount Everest, you're obviously not going to just start from the beginning and run up the hill. You got to do it in stages. And that's what the Kaizen approach more basically is, is doing thing in state, doing everything in stages. So yeah, I look forward to uh, you watching the next video, give you a little bit more understanding of what it is. And then uh, talking about the six different strategies of it and then why it works. And then if you're still interested and you still like it, then taking the course with me. I think it's a great course and I think all of us should take it because it, it helps you with all aspects of your life, getting over any different type of challenge that you might have. It's right there helping you. So yeah, look forward to seeing you in the next video.